You know, after I finished reading the story, I just sat for a long time staring into space, thinking maybe I should start an OnlyFans account. Hello beautiful people, it's me, your local diva Anurag, back with another BL review and this time it's the Korean manhwa BJ Alex which is really popular in the BL world as far as I know. Now before I get into the details of the story, I think the biggest thing that you need to know is that this story is 18 plus. It has very graphic adult content so it is not at all suitable for minors although I don't think that has stopped anyone from reading it yeah get it to it so yeah if you are not into smart or you know sexually explicit content this is not the story for you the author of this manhwa is Mingwa and the description of the story reads every night at 10 Dongwin locks himself up in his room, grabs a box of tissues and watches a live cam boy show hosted by Alex, a broadcast jockey. Timid Dongun admires not only Alex's ripped body, but his candor in sharing his sexual experiences with viewers. One night, Dongun drowns too many drinks at a school event and passes out. When he wakes up, he's in bed staring up at a shirtless hunk. A hunk who looks an awful lot like Alex. So first of all, let's start with the characters. Nam Dong Hyun is a, you know, shy and antisocial but cute student who likes to watch live shows, if you get what I mean. An Juwon, on the other hand, is a hot, you know, really popular, hunky uh, student who does live online shows which are sexually explicit in nature and that is how he earns money. And uh, obviously he wears a mask to protect his identity and his online persona is Alex. So it's like an OnlyFans account but it's live. The shows, the videos are live. Similar to most BL stories, this story also has the typical cliche pairing in the sense that the uh, semi or the top is this domineering, arrogant, masculine person, whereas the uke or the bottom is more of a submissive, timid, naive kind of person. But I didn't really mind it here because as the story progresses, we get to see the development in the characters, you know. There's growth and there's also a lot of layers in their personality. So yeah, that was good. The two major supporting characters are Chanwu and Kim Myung Dae who also act as the second pairing in the story. Now I really liked John Woo's character, I thought his personality was really grounded, realistic, and relatable. He is the kind of friend that everybody needs to have. However, John Woo and Myung Dae as a couple do not really get a lot of spotlight in the story, which the author does rectify at the very end in the extra chapters. So their story is more explored in the final chapters which you are like free to skip because the uh, story officially ends before so yeah you can read or you can skip the extra chapters but I recommend that you do read because their story is interesting as well time for another warning there are elements of BDSM in the story as well so yeah, you need to watch out for that and if you are not comfortable with that depiction, um... No. Well... 
the story has a very nice comfortable pace that you know keeps you hooked with every chapter it is neither too rushed nor too slow the other minor characters who appear in the story are also really well written and they contribute in moving the plot forward the illustration is amazing it is very well detailed even though it is in black and white and uh, the expli explicit scenes are a little bit censored so yeah, that may mean a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you prefer. <laughs> Although I think that in manhwas, the private parts are mostly censored. I would describe the story as a very explicit romantic drama with comedic elements. In some parts, I was laughing out loud and in other parts, I was I was feeling really hot, you know, I was sweating. And I, oh! The story is really a well-balanced blend of, you know, good plot and sexual content mixed together, which keeps it from being really too porny and too, you know, watered down fluff love story. I think at its very core, the story is about confronting your past and crossing over the barriers that you have built around yourself and finally coming to terms with not only oneself but with the people around you with a lot of sex. Overall, I really really liked the story. I think BJ Alex is an amazing addition to the BL content and it rightly deserves all the praise and fame that it has gotten so far. If you haven't read this manhwa, I highly recommend you do so. Uh, BJ Alex is available on Lazen.com. However, there are unofficial sites where you can read it for free. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.